police officers are hitting the streets, saying an already dangerous job is even worse there. KCRA 3's Tom Duhane shows us who and what they blame. Wives and daughters of Auburn police officers say they fear for the safety of their loved ones when they work alone on patrol. The main issue is lack of backup for emergencies. By having not enough officers there for backup, that's just increasing the risk of them not coming home every day. But it's really hard to watch them, you know, and that much stress and agony over the things that go on here. One city activist says programs like the SWAT team, Neighborhood Watch, and the only canine officer are gone. Forty percent of the workforce cut during the recession, and now they're short-staffed. Especially when there's one incident in town, it takes, it really, it, it strips all the manpower out that we have Monday through Thursday. Only two, two cops on the street at night. That's it. Also here, a former Auburn policeman, Dave Lewicka. He retired due to serious injuries that came in a fight with a suspect on methamphetamine. Backup was not available. What does this department need? Manpower. It needs manpower. It needs equipment that works. It needs resources. The city's police chief was not available today, but the mayor released a statement saying in part, quote, we are at the table with our unions on these issues and cannot negotiate in the media. The families did not mention negotiations or pay. They say their big concern is just safety. In Auburn, Tom Duhane, KCRA 3 News. According to family members, Auburn officers have to pay for their own flashlights, batteries, even their body armor.